everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to Beth from Tennessee, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. You're probably wondering why I didn't hold it all up and I've got it in the box today. And there's a reason, which I'm going to boringly explain to you. And the reason is, they won't come out, they're stuck to the bottom. Can you see them? So I'll just peel this off. Oh, that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> I've actually got three drinks to try in this taste test alone. I know, it's, it's frightening, isn't it? This is a Mountain Dew Code Red. Code Red sounds like something medical, like they're going to open you out and take out like a major organ. This has a rush of cherry flavor. Is this like an energy drink? Is that what they mean? Like a cherry rush? Like, <coughs> watch out. I don't usually have energy drinks much. I don't know. Oh, it's red. Ooh. Do love a red drink. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's got a cherry flavor in it, and it's like it's almost gonna. Ta this is gonna sound weird. And it's all like it's almost gonna taste poisonous, but it doesn't. I know it doesn't sound great for a review. It's not like an evil cherry taste. It's a. Uh, I could be evil, but I'm not going to be today. Yeah, I like it. And look at that bright red color. It says with other natural flavors. I don't know. Do you reckon? I don't know if those are natural flavors in there. What, like natural flavors of sugar? Doesn't that look like something that you shouldn't drink? But I'm loving it. <laughs> you don't ever look at the ingredients in a drink. It's just not a great idea. It's got caffeine in it. Oh, I like it. Of course, I've got to follow up with some cherry head. And these are the ones that were stuck to the bottom of the box. You can see how they've been stuck down there. It's very delightful looking. 25 cents, is that really the cost of these? That is really super cheap. Know what you can get in Australia for 25 cents? A dirty look, that's it. 25 cents. I can't think of anything that would really buy you. So let's hope they're not too messed up, but I don't know. There you go. It opens up, I think, just like that, and then you can just pour them on out. Here they come. What has happened? Oh, no. Uh, wow, it's like you don't see every day. <laughs> Wow, it's all come out in one. Oh, sugar, no, it's gone. Oh, no. Why did I not know that was going to happen? And I think it's still going to be okay to eat. It's funny, though, that it just comes in a cardboard box and it doesn't come with anything else around it to protect it. They look pretty. They smell nice. Whoa. Yeah. I think if you looked up in the dictionary the definition of sweet, it would be this. They've actually got a really nice cherry flavor to them. They're really sweet. They're something that as a kid I would have loved. I'm loving them now, actually. They're a little bit chewy and they're full of flavor. Really nice, 25 cents. Far out, right, that's cheap. Let me know in the comments below if you think that is really cheap. Maybe Australia is just really expensive for candy and stuff. Time for another beverage break and today I'm going to try this. It's a Hawaiian iced tea and this one is lemon flavoured. Get your umbrellas out everyone. I love a good iced tea. This makes a quart which I believe is four cups. I only know that because it said on the back and if I didn't know how much a quart was I probably would have googled it. This is what it looks like. It's just it's just like powder. Did you need to see it? I think you did. I've got a big jug because I couldn't find a smaller one. This is all I have. Just deal with it. You work with what you've got in this world. Put this in here. Oh, like a cloud of iced tea. Why am I smelling it? <laughs> this is my four cups of water that I had in the fridge before. Whoa! <laughs> Such a dramatic noise. And I probably should mix it. Hey, what with? Should I just break my whole hand in and do it? <laughs> no. Okay, so I grabbed a wooden spoon because I thought that would be the best way to do this. I just want to make sure there's no lumpy bits in there. Everything feels oversized today. <laughs> because this is Hawaiian iced tea, I felt like I wanted to make it look more fancy. So I've got some sliced lemons and also some mint. I want it to feel more tropical. <sighs> See, I mean, it already doesn't that look like 50% better. Whack the lid on this one. Oh, it's broken. 
how long it's been broken for? How long? Anyway, because <laughs> you don't really care, do you? Probably someone broke it at the last party I had, I suppose. Didn't tell me. Well, Tam will discover that later in a video, and then everyone will know. Yep. Cheers. Ooh, I love iced tea. That's so easy to drink. It's light, it's refreshing, it's got a lovely lemon zing through it and a beautiful tea flavor as well. You know what's made it better? Putting it in that whopping great big jug. Love it. Traditional Chex Mix. And it says on the back here, keeps life interesting. Yeah, okay, well I guess life can get a little boring at times. And what do you do when it's boring? You eat a bunch of crap. I think most of us do, don't we? So it looks like it's got a really interesting mix of stuff in here. All sorts of savoury goodness stuff. I'll show you guys first. Uh-huh. Hello. Looks like a good mix of stuff in here. I'm liking this. So as you can see, all of the different things in here, there's a lot of pretzel-like things. Like, they make them in different shapes. Basically, they're going to taste the same. Because that's a pretzel. So is this. Then you've got a little window one as well. Oh, and I don't know what this is. It looks like a little cage, like a little prison. It's like the savoury prison that traps me every day. I'm going to try some of these pretzels first. Yes. I didn't think that long one was a pretzel. I think that was more like a cracker. Is this? Yum. That's like a rye piece of dried bread. And it looks incredibly boring, doesn't it? But it isn't. It's really tasty and salty. And then I've left these bits to last because I'm really excited about them. It's the best bit in there. Yeah, I don't even know if that's potato, you know. It kind of tastes like corn. I think it's a corn snack. Really crispy and salty. I love the mixture of stuff in here. It's all lovely and crispy and savory. I love it. Time for another beverage break and this is a Dr. Brown's Black Cherry Soda. Ooh, hear that noise. I could never make that again, could I? I can. Sorry, I've just found a new talent. Oh gosh, I can't get my finger in there. on the floor today. You just get used to it. Being me, you just get used to it. Cheers. Oh. I don't know. It has got a cherry flavour in it, but it also tastes like something else which I can't really recognise. What's that supposed to be? Black cherry soda with other natural flavours. What does that even mean? What am I drinking? What's natural about this? I mean, it's an interesting flavour. It kind of tastes like it's black cherry and cola mixed together. Actually, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Let me know in the comments below if you know what this is exactly. Is it just cherry? What else is in here? What is in here? I should be able to tell you I'm tasting it, but I can't. It's not a bad soda. I don't know if I'd necessarily get it again. I think I prefer the other cherry soda better. Probably because it was just cherry and this is... I don't really know what this is. I kind of feel like all my drinks are in the same colour scheme today. Look, see? Thank you so much, Beth. I really appreciate you organising to send me all of this stuff. I had so much fun trying it. And if everyone in the comments below could thank Beth, because without her, this taste test would not have been possible. And Beth also sent me an RC cola, which I generously received already from a friend of mine, Paula. So if you've got any suggestions of how I should retaste another RC cola, then let me know in the comments below. Someone said that they actually put peanuts in cola. Is that true? Is there any weird things that you have with cola that you really like? Give me some suggestions in the comments below. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.